Hey guys, welcome to Tech with Aman. And in this video, we will look what is Kafka in simple terms and how it is used. If you are uh, first time learning about Kafka, so it will be a very useful video for you. It will let you understand where Kafka fit in your architecture and what exactly it is. Okay, so we will be looking into an example and problems with that example and how to solve that problem with Kafka. Okay, so let's say there's a user and he is trying to check out from a e-commerce site, let's say Amazon. Okay, and uh, he has ordered a laptop and he just uh, made the payment and just checking it out. So in this, a simple event, there are, there is a lot of thing happening in that e-commerce website. Uh, let me write few of those cases which are happening in that case. Okay, so let me draw a diagram and tell you. So since nowadays uh, we have microservice architecture in all of our big websites or in small also. So here the user will check out. So this checkout service will handle that and this checkout service will call the inventory. And inventory basically let's say he ordered a laptop then the inventory for that laptop will be reduced. Uh, for that particular product in inventory service and it call then call the shipment service so that sh shipment can be prepared for this laptops dispatch okay and it also calls the notification service so notification service let's say user will be notified for a sms or an email and it also calls the recommendation service so that this kind of product can also be recommended to this user okay so this is the whole flow and here we are let's say we are using apis we are using APIs, uh, REST APIs to communicate this information. And uh, the problem here is the, uh, it first these services will take some time. Let's say it is adding a latency of uh, 50 milliseconds, uh, 30 milliseconds, 40 milliseconds. And let's say this is taking less, so it is 20 milliseconds. So we are adding a 140 second of latency to this service it itself. So it will be 140 millisecond latency will be added to this checkout service because it is calling all of these service and second problem will be like there will be uh, like uh, hundreds of these kind of event okay let's say we also draw delivery event here so this is delivery okay so in case of delivery also these kind of events will happen so delivery will also mark the shipment that this shipment has been done it will also send the notification it will like it will also call some other service no let's say not calling the recommendation service but as you can see like there will be hundreds of these kind of events and this these things will become a mesh okay so we are doing a very small change in this let's say what we are doing is uh, let's remove this api and Okay, so I have removed these APIs, and what I am what I am doing is I am uh, I am placing a producer. Let's write it P. So I am placing a producer here. So whenever an event happens, whenever an event happens, this producer, this producer will push this event to this broker. It is doing not doing anything else. It is just picking up that event and pushing it into this broker similarly for delivery also we are pushing this event to broker okay and and we are placing consumers here see in each of the services this consumer will consume from this broker and there can be other services also in this mesh okay so this might be a bit confusing so let me explain so let's say check out event happens and the producer push the event to the broker so this broker will have multiple you can say pipes you can imagine a pipe here so this is a delivery pipe okay so delivery event will come to this delivery pipe okay and consumers will be connected to this delivery pipe Similarly, there will be other pipe for this checkout. So these will not be actually pipes. This is I'm just trying to uh, like give you more context in from the real world. Basically, these are called topics in Kafka and these uh, these checkouts events are going in this and we have different consumers. So these consumers here basically uh, see these these consumers are there. These services are the consumers. Okay, these consumers sit inside these services. Okay, 
so this is how like it is going so the checkout event happens it will be pushed to this pipe and each of these services will consume these this event from this pipe and these all of these services will be getting the same same event let's say it was checkout by user user 1 2 3 okay this was the message which got inside this pipe so this same message will be sent to all of these services and they can do their own work so inventory will update the inventory shipment will cre start creating the shipment whatever it will like the system want to do notification will send the notification to the user recommendation service will also put it in ingest it and like start giving recommendation regarding that okay so here what like so you will be saying what is the use of this why why we are doing this because because this is making like things very easy so whenever there is some event is happening that event will be pushed to this broker delivery event checkout event uh, delivered event n number of events those all will be pushed inside this broker and there will be different topics in which these like events will be pushed and there will be different listeners these consumers okay for all of these topics so each topic will have different uh, uh, consumers okay so let's say this shipment here will also be listening from delivery event and checkout event it will be handling these events like apis so it's like two apis are hitting this service shipment service one is from delivery and second is from checkout and you can also pass the same data which you are uh, sending in the api so you just replace that api and given the same event to the to this uh, broker and that same event come to shipment through that broker so what we have achieved here so we basically decoupled the uh, producer and the consumer okay so earlier you, you uh, we saw that they, this was, these apis were adding few latencies okay so this latency was from this service side okay and here now what is happening is while pushing this event to this broker it merely takes 1 millisecond okay so 140 milliseconds versus 1 millisecond like it can be little bit more depend on the like where is your broker situated and what is the network latency but it is typically very low very very low okay and also we don't need to integrate these uh, services directly okay so i want to call this 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 no just take up the event and push it into the broker and write a consumer for that topic in that service that will consume the data okay so this producer consumer and broker is called kafka this is what kafka doing okay so here kafka is just a piece of software which is running in some server some let's say ubuntu machine inside your network virtual network or in cloud like however you want to use it it will be running in a in basically a machine and you will be pushing the producer will be put inside the service which want to publish some event and consumers will be placed inside the the services which want to consume and these all will be connected to the broker the the service push the event and that will be delivered very fast to these services so that they, they can consume them this is what kafka do okay so it's very simple it will it make your architecture look very simple i have used it in many services like it's it gives you a lot of control let your latency is reduced you can like reprocess these events let's say there was some problem with the service and uh, you were not able to uh, ingest some messages so you go back in that uh, topic and reprocess them so and you can also like use this in distributed ways so let's say you have uh, five instances of inventory uh, for simplicity let's take two instances of inventory okay so there will be two consumers okay and this will be connected to this so you will be wondering like, like uh, the same event will be pushed to two instances of inventory and it will be processed two times no there is also a concept of consumer groups so these both of these consumers will be a part of a consumer group let's say a uh, checkout group checkout consumer group okay so any any consumer which will be part of these this checkout consumer group let's say we have 10 consumers then all will be getting events from same topic okay so let let us visualize this here so this let's say this is a consumer group 
so this is how it will be happening c1 uh, c uh, c1 c2 c3 okay so same event will be sent to that group so basically we are sending that event to that group not to the single consumer that that was to is visualize you like uh, uh, that there is only one uh, consumer but that will be sent to a consumer group and inside consumer group any of one of these any one of these consumer can like consume these events okay so one event came and let's say it was assigned to c1 so c1 only will get that event not c2 or c3 this is how it is handled in kafka okay so i have simplified the diagram so we have check you check out producer and these are components of kafka only so this is check out producer they can be multiple producers let's say there are 10 instances of the check out service are running so each instance will have a producer and it is pushing the messages into the broker so this broker is just a intermediate so this broker is basically kafka software instance running in some let's say ubuntu machine okay and it also is replicated you can see multiple instances of the broker so let's say there are three machines which are running this broker and these are talking to each other also and whenever we are pushing messages so these also get replicated in these brokers so that it can it can be fault tolerant let's say one broker get down so other two broker will serve the data and this data will also be replicated in all of these brokers so if you push the message you can configure that uh all of the three brokers will have this message replicated or you can configure only two broker can have uh this message replicated so this is how you can configure the kafka broker okay and similarly we have different uh, consumers like a uh, same say uh, listening from a same topic so each event will go to different topic okay these event will go to let's say check out topic and this will be go to will be going to deliver topic and each consumer group so this is consumer group there are multiple consumers in a consumer group i have created a different video on that i'll link the playlist in description and the i button so this event get delivered here the consumer will consume uh, consume the event and uh, only one consumer in the consumer group will get that event and that will process that similarly we have check out consumer group and check out this will be running in uh, check out service and uh, check out consumer will be consuming events and processing them so this is how like and kafka is very 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 like you can publish even millions of the messages to the broker so it is very high throughput so you uh, like linkedin have tested it for 2 million messages per second so that is a very high volume of messages and this was created by linkedin uh, to like analyze the clickstream data and they later made it a open source project and which is being currently like uh, developed by uh, or like managed by confluent thank you for watching this video hope you like it if you like it please do like share and subscribe it will give me motivation to make more such kind of knowledgeable videos and like it will also help the youtube algorithm to suggest this video to similar kind of people so please do consider that thank you